Now, Gabon's powerful ONEP Oil Workers Union this week declared an open-ended strike to demand the application of a 2010 agreement signed by the government guaranteeing better labour terms and greater use of Gabonese staff. Joining us now to discuss the impact of the strike on the country's oil sector is Ron McAllister. He's the general manager of oil company uh, Valco Gabon. Mr McAllister, thank you so much for joining us. Um, there's conflicting reports about the extent to which the strike has impacted uh, Gabon. Bon. Um, we know that there has been um, a problem with uh, getting gasoline to gas stations in Libreville, um, but uh, we understand that the situation has been uh, turned around. What is the latest? Well, the latest is that uh, at the level of production, pretty much everybody is running normally, and at the level of refining, pretty much all products are available. The, uh, the choke point is at the product terminals, uh, more of a problem in Port Gentil where the industry is located than in the capital, uh, mainly because truckers are uh, being intimidated and are afraid to uh, leave the terminal mm -hmm. and supply service stations. Now, the, the um, underlying reasons for the strike, the demand to use um, labor locally, to source labor locally, and of course the uh, better working conditions. Have you met with the strikers and what is the state of negotiations, if any? Well, like almost uh, all countries, um, local employment is, uh, is favored over foreign employment and uh, generally that's the better economic proposition as well. So. Uh, we have plenty of incentive to employ all the locals that we can. Uh, the problem for uh, companies like mine is that we cannot find enough qualified local employees to satisfy the technical demands of the industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, until the, the, the local educational system is able to produce more employees, we're never going to get out of the pressure of this unless they reduce their ambitions about the percentage of local workforce that is capable of being employed in the industry. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you've made the cogent argument economically to uh, employ uh, local labor. Uh, in terms of your company's longer term approach to being in uh, Gabon, do you intend uh, training uh, workers up? Do you have training schemes to address the skills deficit um, and to empower Gabonese workers? Or are you going to have a bottom line approach where profit is the only kind of big motivator and bring in um, you know a, a labor that is um, uh, affordable and that um, you know works in favor of your bottom line well the first bottom line is safety and we will do whatever we have to do in order to avoid accidents and incidents uh, wherever the labor needs to come from uh, that is the absolute prerequisite anywhere in the industry uh, the second is you get the best talent that you can wherever the government allows you. So we are, for instance, 85 uh, percent nationalized already. Mm -hmm. uh, they would like us to get to 90 percent, even though our contract with the government only requires us to be at 75 percent. Indeed, Mr. McAllister. And we are generally representative. M yes. Mr. McAllister, thank you so much. Uh, we have to leave it there. Unfortunately, we've run out of time.